Crystal Chrissy Anderson, a beloved former Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader and dedicated yoga instructor, tragically passed away at the age of 40, shortly after giving birth. The Kansas City Chiefs cheer team expressed their profound sadness on Instagram, celebrating Anderson's vibrant life and legacy. Known for her spirited presence on and off the field, Anderson was a fixture of the Chiefs cheer squad from 2006 to 2011, and from 2013 to 2016, even representing the team at the Pro Bowl in 2015 and serving as a team captain. Beyond her cheerleading accolades, Anderson's impact extended globally as she visited troops around the world, including in Iraq and Kuwait, bringing joy and a sense of home to those stationed far from the United States. Her passion for dance and cheerleading continued even after her active cheer days, contributing in an alumni role that touched many lives within the Chiefs organization and the broader community. Anderson's passing is felt deeply not only by her former teammates and fans, but by all who were touched by her kindness and exuberant spirit. Her obituary revealed her multifaceted talents as a software engineer who made significant advancements in healthcare technology, including being awarded a patent for software that assesses the risk of postpartum hemorrhage, showcasing her brilliant mind and compassionate heart. She leaves behind her husband, Clayton Anderson, whom she married in July 2021, her parents, Bertha and Burnett Johnson, her brother, Corey Johnson, and several family members. Her life was also marked by the loss of her infant son, James Charles, who preceded her in death. As the Kansas City Chiefs community and all who knew Chrissy Anderson mourn her loss, her legacy of joy, determination, and advocacy continues to inspire. Her life and untimely passing serve as a poignant reminder of the work still needed to combat maternal mortality and achieve equity in healthcare. Paula Weinstein, an Emmy-winning producer and a pivotal figure in the film and television industry, passed away at the age of 78 in New York. Weinstein's storied career included the production of critically acclaimed films such as The Perfect Storm, Analyze This, The Fabulous Baker Boys, and Blood Diamond. Beyond her remarkable contributions to cinema, Weinstein was a former chief content officer at Tribeca Enterprises, where she played a significant role in overseeing the film festival's programming and supporting underrepresented filmmakers. Weinstein's legacy is marked by her determination to tell compelling stories and her commitment to social justice causes. Her work earned her two primetime Emmys for the TV movies Truman and Recount, highlighting her talent for bringing important historical narratives to the screen. At Tribeca, she was instrumental in creating the Tribeca Talk series and developing Tribeca Studios, further solidifying her influence in nurturing cinematic talent. Tribeca co-founder and CEO Jane Rosenthal remembered Weinstein as a mentor, friend, and an inspiration to many women in the industry. Weinstein's departure from Tribeca Enterprises in September 2023 to devote her time to political causes underscores her passion for advocacy and her belief in the power of storytelling to affect change. Weinstein's personal life was equally rich and complex. Following the death of her husband, Mark Rosenberg, on the set of Flesh and Bone in 1992, Weinstein spoke candidly about the blend of pride and sadness in continuing their shared work. Her commitment to political activism was deeply influenced by her mother, Hannah Weinstein, who provided work for blacklisted Americans in the 1950s, and her father, a journalist. Survived by her daughter, Hannah Rosenberg, Weinstein's passing is mourned by many who were touched by her films, her mentorship, and her unwavering dedication to making the world a better place through cinema and activism. Her honors, including two Crystal Awards from Women in Film and the Hall of Fame Award from Variety, are a testament to her indelible impact on Hollywood and beyond. Anaïs Robin, a burgeoning French singer and TikTok sensation, known for her captivating performances alongside her twin brother Elliot, tragically passed away at the young age of 21 in a car crash. The accident, which occurred in Bézieux, near Lille, France, 
on the M941 highway, claimed her life when she lost control of her vehicle and collided with a tree. Robin, who was alone in the car, died instantly at the scene. With a significant following on social media, boasting over 510,000 followers on TikTok and 150,000 on Instagram, Robin had carved out a niche for herself in the digital world. Her content mainly featured her singing and performing live, often in collaboration with her twin brother, Elliot, showcasing their exceptional musical talents and close bond. The news of her untimely demise was confirmed by her record label, Gabs and Joe, which expressed profound sorrow over the loss of their cherished artist. A spokesperson for the label remembered Robin as a beloved figure, stating, It is with deep sadness that we announce the death of our artist, Aeneas Robin, which occurred after a road accident on Saturday night in the north of France. The label highlighted her warmth, kindness, and remarkable vocal talent, noting that her radiant smile and voice would forever be etched in the hearts of those who knew her. Elliot Robin shared a heartrending tribute on Instagram, vowing to find strength for their family and to honor his sister's memory. The local police have initiated an investigation to ascertain the cause of the accident. Aeneas Robin's passing is a profound loss to the music and social media communities. Her legacy, however, will continue to inspire and resonate through her music and the joy she brought to her audience. As fans and loved ones mourn her loss, the promise of her brother to carry on her legacy is a touching testament to the impact she had on those around her. Ron Harper, a versatile actor renowned for his roles in iconic TV shows like Planet of the Apes and Land of the Lost, has passed away at the age of 91 due to natural causes at his home in West Hills. Harper's remarkable career spanned over several decades, during which he left an indelible mark on the world of television and film. Before finding fame on the small screen, Harper honed his craft on Broadway, even understudying for Paul Newman in Tennessee, Williams' Sweet Bird of Youth. His transition to television saw him star in series such as 87th Precinct, Wendy and Me, The Gene Arthur Show, and Garrison's Gorillas, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences across a range of genres. Despite the short-lived nature of these series, Harper's performances remained memorable Harper's portrayal of astronaut Alan Verdon in Planet of the Apes and Uncle Jack in Land of the Lost highlighted his talent for bringing complex characters to life. His dedication to his roles and the impact of his work on generations of viewers are a testament to his skill and passion for storytelling. Off-screen, Harper's journey from Turtle Creek, Pennsylvania to Princeton University and beyond illustrates his commitment to his craft and his willingness to pursue his passion for acting, despite the sacrifices involved. His contributions to the industry have not only entertained, but inspired many. Harper's legacy is carried on by his family, including his daughter Nicole, granddaughters Ronnie and Harper, and his ex-wife Shirley. As the entertainment community and fans mourn his loss, they also celebrate the lasting contributions of Ron Harper to the world of entertainment. Alicia the Tigress Graf, a revered figure in the world of professional boxing, has passed away at the young age of 43. The cause of her unexpected death remains unknown. Born Alicia Klimovich on October 14, 1980, in Gomel, Belarus, Graf relocated to Germany in 1999, where she would embark on a boxing career that saw her rise to prominence within the sport. She became a German citizen in 2008, having made the country her home and the base of her professional training. Graf's boxing journey began in 2001, and she stepped into the professional ring for the first time in 2004. Her remarkable career was marked by her acquisition of the Global Boxing Union, GBU, World Super Flyweight title in 2006, a title she defended 11 times. Her prowess in the ring was further cemented in 2008, when she claimed the Women's International Boxing Federation WIBF, World Super Flyweight title, successfully defending it four times alongside her GBU title. 
Among Graf's significant victories was her unanimous decision win against the then undefeated future Hall of Famer Zulina Munoz in 2007. This victory was a testament to Graf's skill and determination in the ring, establishing her as a formidable competitor. Her professional record boasted an impressive series of fights, culminating in a title challenge for the WBO World Super Bantamweight title in 2019 against Dina Thorsland. Graf's death was confirmed by her friend and former training partner, Regina Halmick, with whom she shared a promotion under Universum Box Promotion in Hamburg, Germany. The boxing community mourns the loss of Alicia Graf, remembering her not only for her achievements within the ring, but also for her indomitable spirit. Her legacy as a dedicated athlete and a pioneer for women in boxing will continue to inspire future generations of boxers. Breaking news of the day. News 1. In a catastrophic event that has left Baltimore and the nation in shock, the Francis Scott Key Bridge dramatically collapsed early Tuesday morning following a collision with a container ship. Six individuals working on the bridge at the time are presumed dead after the structure gave way, plunging them into the chilly waters below. The incident has led to a major closure affecting one of the United States' busiest ports. Coast Guard Rear Admiral Shannon N. Gilreath announced the transition of the search effort to a recovery mission, citing slim chances of finding survivors given the water conditions and time elapsed. Maryland Governor Wes Moore expressed his deep sorrow for the families of the missing, acknowledging the immense pain this tragedy has inflicted. The disaster unfolded when the cargo ship Dolly, measuring 984 feet, lost power and collided with the bridge at approximately nine miles per hour. The impact was devastating, resulting in at least five vehicles being detected underwater by sonar. The state of Maryland has been declared a state of emergency as the community grapples with this tragic accident, which has been ruled out as an act of terrorism. News 2. In a move that blurs the line between life and art, Arnold Schwarzenegger, famed for his role as the cybernetic Terminator, has undergone surgery to fit a pacemaker, making him, in his own words, a little bit more of a machine. The 76-year-old actor and former governor of California shared this update on his podcast, Arnold's Pump Club, revealing that after three open-heart surgeries, he has now embraced a machine part integral to his continued vitality. Schwarzenegger, known for his resilience, reassured fans about his recovery, sharing that just days post-surgery, he was already attending significant events, highlighting his rapid return to active public life. He credited his well-being to the exceptional care of the medical team at the Cleveland Clinic and emphasized the importance of exercise in combating the aging process citing Jane Fonda as a vibrant example of fitness's transformative power. Acknowledging the necessity of the pacemaker due to complications from past surgeries, Schwarzenegger remains optimistic about his health, demonstrating his enduring strength and commitment to inspiring others facing similar challenges.